Happy day four of the Summer of Wonder. My road trip to the Rockies west from central Pennsylvania along with Lexi, my golden retriever. Today we started on the east coast of Minnesota along Lake Superior and now we're ending it sitting on a bench staring at the Red River which is the literal west end of Minnesota. I'm actually sitting on the North Dakota side. Lots to see today, lots of adventure, lots of miles on the road too. I hope you enjoy the ride. Good morning from Lake Superior in Minnesota. And Lexi the Golden and I are showing you all the places that we're going and all the things we're doing. Downside to the morning is flies, so we have to keep moving and lots of bug spray, but um, this is an absolutely gorgeous morning and we're going to take a hike to Gooseberry Falls. It's a really nice trail that we're on. This is in Gooseberry Falls State Park and I can hear the falls. Come on, let's keep going. So this is one reason why state parks are the best in my opinion, because they almost always have hiking trails and they're very well maintained. And let's just look at, first of all, this beautiful walkway. And then if you don't want the walkway, then you can walk on the dirt path over here. It is just really beautiful. Come on, let's go. Guys, what an amazing little wondrous place. This is the Lower Falls, I think. It's so pretty. Throughout my trip, I'm sure I'll talk about the CCC some but there were about 200 young guys that lived up there on that ridge when they were doing all of this amazing work through the park that we see on the walkways and the trails and everything back in the 1930s. It's also this amazing bridge that I think has this cool walking trail underneath it and that the car park is above it. Maybe the best view yet. Pretty cool. Very loud. This is right at the top of the larger falls. So beautiful. Lex and I are just sitting here above the falls, considerably above, so she's playing in the water. What a beautiful morning and beautiful way to start the day. Except I realized I was feeling a little out of sorts and I was trying to figure out why. And um, it's because I just, I didn't, I raced out of the camp this morning. So we just did what we had to do in like 10 minutes and we took off. So it's all beautiful and gorgeous and all of that, but at the same time I realized I didn't slow down to do the things I normally do, which I don't want to sound like such a creature of habit, but I've learned over the years that this is a big part of what makes this so special for me, is that I do take time in the mornings and I'm leisurely to do my devotions and to journal and to read and to just really reflect on yesterday and make sure I am starting the day from a place of feeling really grateful for all the things. So anyway, I need to get back and do that, but it was a pretty great way to start the day. All right, we found our way to Split Rock State Park, which is, as you can see, right on Lake Superior, and it has a very famous lighthouse which we couldn't do the actual tour because no dogs allowed, but it's up there. How cool is that? Okay, my first cute coffee shop this is called Timber Coffee, and I'm in Silver Bay, Minnesota. Best looking cinnamon bun. I've seen her a long time. Haven't tasted it yet, and of course a chai latte. So this is what the cinnamon buns look like. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. But oh my gosh, you guys. It is delish. This is the bridge from Minnesota across the Red River into North Dakota and the city of Grand Forks. And the city surprised me so Welcome to downtown Grand Forks. 
I just love this town. I don't know why. It's very, I don't know, it has that Midwestern feel. It's a little bit quirky. It's very clean. There seems to be a lot of pride in the town itself. And there's a really cool river walk park, which is what we're about to do. And we're right, how cool is this? The other side of the bridge is Minnesota. So we are, we're staying in North Dakota for right now. Lex and I have put in a lot of miles today, um, a lot of miles in the car. We started our day on the East Coast in Lake Superior, Minnesota. We ended it on the, just over the bridge from the West Coast. And we are in North Dakota. Lex and I are taking a stroll around Grand Forks. She's already tired, it's a little bit warm. But I love that they have the little libraries. Come on, we're going this way. But one of the best things about this town are the houses and the streets. It's just a beautifully kept, of course it's not all like this, but many of the blocks around downtown area are like this. Homes that are just beautifully taken care of, older homes. Of course, it's late summer, so everything is blooming. But let's just check out and appreciate some of these houses. And porches and beautiful windows and the detail on them is just stunning. A lot of them have painted trim, like artistically painted trim and beautiful stained glass windows as well. If today's video feels a little scattered, it's because I think I feel a little scattered. <sighs> to be honest, I'm tired. It's day four and three days of putting up a tent um, and one in the campsite that was just really full of flies. And this morning I just worked as quickly as I could to get packed up so that we could leave there. We had such a wonderful walk this morning, but gosh, the flies. How about this? Check out this old monster of a house here. Look at this. How beautiful is that? So cool. Well, someone's got too many zucchinis and they're giving them away. Leave it, Lexi. I love this house. Is this not gorgeous? The window boxes, the detail on the different colors, the trim. It's a beautiful evening, although it is pretty warm. So just, wow, so nice to have this um, couple mile walkway. There's actually a couple different paths and there's a dike as well you can walk on top of. So lots of options here in Grand Forks. So we end our day here in Grand Forks, North Dakota. We are tired. Lex has been sleeping for a couple of hours now. I'm very ready. Um, it's so good to be in a hotel after three awesome days of camping, but it's time for a real bed and a break and just reorganization, refrigeration, all the things. So a great shower and we will be up and ready to do some more exploring tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you on the road.